Hey, is it possible that a research vessel scanning the Atlantic Ocean picked up a sonar image of a megalodon? Or is this just too good to be true? Hey guys, Bill here. Just a few days ago, my email box started receiving requests about this new picture spreading around the internet. It was first sent in by Mohit Amir, who wrote, Please find out the truth about this. Mohit, you know, I have been trying to find evidence of a real living megalodon since I started this channel many years ago. Unfortunately, I haven't found anything real yet, but this gives me some hope, so let's check it out. Taking a closer look at the email Mr. Amir sent in, I see this news piece he is referring to comes from the New York Post, an old newspaper out of New York that's been around forever. I went to the New York Post website and used their own search tool to find the article they wrote. The headline says, Massive 50-foot megalodon detected in Atlantic Ocean stuns scientists. I bet they were stunned. Looking through the article, I was able to pick up a few more details. Turns out a research vessel from a nonprofit organization called Atlantic Shark Institute, well, they were out scanning an area of the ocean with a sophisticated fish finder called a Garmin 8600. Now, this thing, what it does is it sends a sonar signal through the water and then comes up with a picture like this to show you things that are in the water, you know, way down deep or anywhere you want. Here in the picture, we are examining this lower line at the bottom of the picture is the actual bottom of the ocean. Then this dark red shape here is something that is swimming just off the bottom. And from the looks of it, it's something really big and has the general shape of a shark or something much larger than a shark, like a megalodon. All right, you follow me so far? From here, I searched up the Atlantic Shark Institute and found the original post of the picture, which they put on their Instagram. It also came with a full explanation of what they discovered. Okay, you ready? Here's what, here's what it reads. Does the Meg exist? On a recent shark research trip, we were all amused to see this shape appear on our fish finder for several minutes. Based on the length of the image, we estimated the Meg to be about 50 feet long, weighing in at 40 tons. All right, so now it goes on from there to say, we waited for one of the fishing rods to go off. However, much to our disappointment, the shape started to transition into a large school of Atlantic mackerel that hang around the boat for about 15 minutes. So guys, there you have it. That's the real truth. Now, anyone posting this picture and claiming it is a real megalodon, well, that just isn't the truth. This picture was sent in by Umi Ramid Khan 51, I hope I pronounced it right, who is very suspicious about its authenticity. He wrote, hey Bill, it says the photo was taken after an earthquake in New Zealand. What do you say, real or fake? Well, Umi Ramid Khan Airy 51, you know, I've got a few questions about this one. I mean, how is it possible that an earthquake you know, just shakes things up, can turn these metal, long metal things into like these wavy spaghetti kind of looking, I don't know. On the one hand, I kind of agree with Sarah Setinop in my Facebook group that this looks like a Photoshop fail. But on the other hand, Jax Rachel says it's definitely real, adding, I think it was after an earthquake near a city called Christchurch. Um. Okay, well, let me put it to you this way. If you're on a train heading for that section of tracks, you better jump because it's real. 
Atlas Leader was the first to come up with the correct answer on this one. The photos were taken by Malcolm Teasdale in New Zealand, who also offered an explanation. He said the steel in the newer railroad tracks is made to have a lot of elasticity, meaning can actually bend very easily without breaking. Well, I'm glad to hear that this new steel bends so easily, but on the other hand, I got a big question, like how do you fix something like that? What do you, just play tug of rope? Our last picture today comes to us from Philippe Gesswein, who wrote, Hey Bill, I found this picture. Is this fake? Um, I think we should tackle this one this way. Let's just go ahead and acknowledge the fact that the photo is real, okay? Somebody just took a camera and took a picture. Now the question is, what is that thing in the photo? Now, I didn't waste any time with this one. I sent it straight over to the Facebook research team. And I said, guys, maybe Philippe just sent this in as a joke, which is, you know, that's fine. And a lot of people on Facebook actually agreed with me. Like Ruby Kingsley Raman, who said, it looks like strawberry jam over vanilla ice cream. Dakota Hill said, it reminds me of grandma's cooking. And Jonathan Ringer wrote, it's unicorn poop. But on the other hand, a lot of people like Adrian Abreu said, it's real. Hmm, so who are we supposed to believe in this particular case? I'll tell you what, here's how I want you to vote. If you think this is a real living thing in that picture, then I want you to vote real. On the other hand, if you think somebody just mashed up some pie and cake batter or whatever, put some berries on top of it, and kind of shaped it into a creepy little thing, then I want you to vote fake, okay? Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, we're not gonna be having a birthday party with that thing because it is real. Thanks to a whole bunch of people, including Orin Mama, who was the first person to come up with a solid answer, it is indeed real, and it's called bleeding tooth fungus. According to an article on the Gypsy Thread website, this crazy looking fungus was first discovered in 1913 and can be found in the forest of the American Pacific Northwest. Those things that look like berries on top of it is actually a red sap and that's where the bleeding part of the name comes from. How about that? Okay, well that's all the time I have for this video, but hey, if you're thinking about clicking away, I wouldn't do that because if you do, you're gonna miss the favorite fake of the week, which is always the best fake, so don't do it, okay? Now, we're gonna to get to that in just a second, but first, ladies and gentlemen, this week's fan art. Our first masterpiece today comes from Edgar, who brings us another You Are Driving Me Crazy theme. In this one, we have Mr. Zorgo, a Megalodon, and what is that? Is that the tonsil monster? Anyway, thanks Edgar. Our next piece comes to us from Megan Taylor and happens to be the first animated piece to come in. Megan wrote, I know it's bad, I can't draw. But Megan, I think you're wrong about that. That giant fish with the little man next to it is awesome. Thank you. Our last picture today is by Taj Reinhardt and shows what I think is a real or fake gun. Now, I'm not quite sure what this gun shoots, but I got my aim on a Megalodon, whatever this is, and my guess would be Slenderman. Oh, and Raj, thanks for remembering I wear a watch. Nice detail. And hey, don't forget, we have a new show every Friday, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notifications bell so you get a shot at being first official comment and win the pin. If you have a picture and you're not quite sure whether it's real or not, send it in to me at billschannel at gmail.com and I'll take a look. Please don't leave links or suggestions in the comment section because really, the only thing that is gonna do is turn me into a mega screamer screaming, you're driving me crazy! See you next time. And now for my favorite fake of the week. It was first sent in by Uzi Quantum, although a lot of people sent it in, and claims to show a soldier that can do push-ups without using his arms. Now guys, not only is this physically impossible, it's just downright so, so fake. fake, it's, it's funny. funny! This trick is actually done by the soldier secretly laying on a plank of wood or pole, which is hidden from our view. Notice that he's on higher ground, down below, out of sight, are his friends pushing it up and down like a seesaw. Here's another video given to us by Dylan Nokolad that shows you better how this is done. <laughs> hey 
hey, don't go away just yet. There are a whole lot more real or fakes you can look at. Just go ahead and click on one.